Hello, good afternoon students, how are you all? <coughs> I hope you all are enjoying the all online learning process and today we are going to start, you know that what subject geography, second lesson, lesson endogenetic movement and today is 8th August 2020. So endogenetic movement, the movements which are genetic that naturally happens that all movements we are going to see and read the following news, observe the photograph and answer the questions. So one of the paragraph is given there, downside and uh, the questions also are, there are few questions that we are going to see. The name of paragraph is Nepal Devastated. Devastated, destroyed. Uh, suffered, suffered through suffered by one of the natural calamities. Okay, so I am going to read the first paragraph. What exactly given in this, and we will answer the questions. Uh, so in the newspaper of Kathmandu, uh, Kathmandu is one of the capital of the Nepal. A powerful earthquake measuring 7.9 on Richter scale struck Nepal today. 7.9 Richter scale. The exact Richter uh, scale of the earthquake that 7.9. Nearly 15, 1500 people were killed and over 1000 people were injured in the disaster. Total 1500 people killed and injured nearby 1000. So people were injured in the disaster. The quake and a series of serious aftershocks delivered a serve blow to Nepal. Uh, tremors were also felt across vast stretches and east and northeast of India. It was also felt China, Bhutan and as far as Pakistan and Bangladesh. So other countries also felt the quake means earthquake. With the epic center at Lamjung, around 80 kilometers northwest of Kathmandu, had its impact several cities in the Bihar, West Bengal, and Uttar Pradesh. So, impacts we can also see in um, cities of Bihar, West Bengal, and Uttar Pradesh. So, the main uh, epic center at Lamjang around 80 kilometers northwest of Kathmandu. So Lamjang, epic center of the earthquake. EPI center Lamjang. Lamjang. Uh, nearby 80 kilometers from uh, Kathmandu. It is the word from from Kathmandu. Okay. So next one we are going to see in this. The initial report said the term measured seven point nine magnitude. It said the quick hit a. 11.40 am local time at Shalo, depth of 11 km. So, depth of the uh, earthquake is 11 km. Depth. And exactly it's hit to 
Bula Nepal at 11:40 a.m. Okay, in the morning section. There were seven major aftershocks measuring after five in the next two and half hours. There were seventeen major aftershocks. Afterwards, seventeen major shocks were measured in the five minutes. In a five minutes quick, the again seventeen uh, shocks were measured by the uh, measured. Of the earthquake, said an officer of the National Seismo Seismological Center. Another aftershock major measuring 6.6 hit within 80 minutes of a quake. So after 80 minutes of a first quake, first 80 minutes. Another one is measured 6.6 earthquake afterward. This is the largest earthquake in Nepal after 80 years. India has sent a rescue team immediately, and as a nature of a human being or as a nature of a humanity of India, India quickly sent the sent the rescue team to the Nepal to help the people. Okay. so questions and answers we are going to see now what caused the large scale casualties so what caused the earthquake first question answer is earthquake what was the magnitude of earthquake okay so magnitude the richter scale okay uh, magnitude 7.9 Richter scale. Which country was the most affected in this earthquake? Lamjan. Lamjan. The uh, next one. Which country was most affected by the earthquake? This over. What? Where was the epicenter of earthquake? Is Lamjan. And uh, Nepal country is affected mostly. Nepal country. is affected mostly for the by this earthquake next what at what depth was the focus located depth is 11 km depth is 11 km next what kind of damage is seen because of the earthquake uh the loss of property the loss of lives 1500 people died and 1000 people are injured this is the loss by this earthquake Next, according to you, what could be the reason behind the earthquake? So, the reason, according to me, so the volcanic movement underground, so that caused to the earthquake. Have you ever experienced a similar earthquake? Discuss. Have you ever uh, uh, experienced the earthquake ever? Then you can discuss with your. Pens. Now we are going to see this one. Various natural events events occur on Earth from the time to time. Example: floods, storms, snowfall, extreme rainfall, etc. Similarly, because of the movements below the Earth's surface. Natural events like the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. For the organize organism living on the Earth, these events are disasters. there is a loss of life and property because of natural calamities in this lesson we will get to introduce this endogeneity internal movement endogeneity internal movements whatever internal movements going generating natural movements going on under the ground internal movement that we are going to study today now here we are going to see uh, one of the uh, figure number 2.1 arrange your notebooks on a, each other Place three or four objects like a chalk, duster, sharpener, eraser, etc. on them. And next, now quickly take out the notebook without affecting other according to figure number two point one. Observe what happens discussing the class. 
Next same activity is given. Arrange the notebook and keep chalk dusters, sharpener, rubber, etc. on as in a previous step. Now give a slight push to the structure and observe what happens. It again give a hard push. Observe what happens. Carry out the discussion on these activities. Figure number two point three. Now we are going to proceed to our geographical explanation. Earthquakes and volcanic volcanoes occur because of instability in the interior of earth. Why they occur? Instability in the interior of the earth. So, why the earthquake take place? The instability in the interior of the earth. Next one we are going to see. This instability is created due to the movements occurring in the earth's interior. This instability is created due to the movement occurring in the earth's interior. This instability occurs because the movements occurring in the earth's interior
Next one. These energy waves travel from place to place another. Due to such flow of energy, instability is caused in the metal. The moments are classified on the basis of their velocity, direction and the landforms they produce. Now classification of internal moments that uh, one of the boxes there I am going to draw on a board. Okay, first, second and third. So, first one, basis of classification and movements. Okay. Basis of classification. Basis of, I will write here on this, in full service, classification. Next, movements. Very important paragraph, this one, uh, sorry, box, this one. First point is velocity. Velocity. Next one. In this, what it causes, what are the moments of velocity? Slow moments. Slow moments. Next one. Occurring continuously. The slow movements are, will occur continuously. Like formation of mountains and continents. So what velocity is uh, slow? Velocity will occur. What to cause for the uh, slow motion? It will cause the formation. The formation of Continents and continents and and mountains, mountains. Also, again, few points are there. Sudden movements. Sudden. Sudden movements that also we are going to see now in velocity. Okay, sudden movements in the form of events. In the form of events means particular after the particular time this movement will take place that is called a sudden movement and this uh, gives uh, cause to in the form of events like earthquake and volcanoes earthquake earthquake and volcanoes. Okay. Now second one, direction. Oh. 
हॉरिजॉन्टल मूवमेंट्स हॉरिजॉन्टल मूवमेंट्स एंड अनदर वन अपवर्ड डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट्स अपवर्ड अपवर्ड डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट्स अपवर्ड डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट्स नेक्स्ट वन यू आर गोइंग टू लास्ट थर्ड वन पॉइंट लैंडफॉर्म्स सो इन दिस विल बी सी कॉन्टिनेंट बिल्डिंग कॉन्टिनेंट बिल्डिंग क्रिएटिंग कॉन्टिनेंट प्लेट्यूज एंड हाईलैंड क्रिएटिंग कॉन्टिनेंट बिल्डिंग मीन क्रिएटिंग प्लेट्यूज कॉन्टिनेंट एंड हाईलाइट माउंटेन बिल्डिंग mountain building folding and faulting folding folding and faulting so what are these all exactly basis of classification classification of internal movements so velocity gives birth to the slow movement uh, gives birth to the formation of mountains and continent and so velocity is huh? and uh, sudden movements gives the form of events earthquake and volcanoes now direction it this gives horizontal movement upward downward movement and landforms continent building creating continents plateau and highlands and mountain building cause to the folding and floating means mountain building means folding and floating and continent building means creating continent plateau and highlands okay slow movements first of all we are going to see which are the slow movements like formation of mountains and continent velocity okay okay see slow movements now point slow movements in this the effect of slow movements can be seen in the form of formation of mountains and continents on the earth's crust this can be explained as follows so again one box is there that also we are going to see slow movements so due to slow movements what will happen the formation of mountains and continent the slow movements of velocity okay now we are going to see Okay, here we will see in the first column effect. Next one, pressure, pressure and tension. Okay, 
these three points we are going to see. The direction of wave movement. The direction of wave movement. The direction. Direction of wave movement. The direction of wave movement. In a pressure section, see waves moving towards each other means like this way, each other in front of them. They coming towards each other. The effect, so slow movement we are studying, uh, the direction of uh, wave movement. Waves uh, pressure will give it will give pressure uh, wave moving towards each other and it will give tension uh, when waves moving away from each other. When waves moving away from each other, this is the difference between two of this. Effect we are going to see of slow movement. If slow movement is there, the direction of uh, wave movement. If they are in a waves moving towards each other, it will create a pressure. And they, if the waves moving the far away from the each other, then it will create a tension. Okay. Effect on hard rocks. So in this uh, here you can see uh, in pressure section and tension section the diagram I will show you. So it will create a fault like this. It will create a foul. This is called foul. Foul. And another type, second foul in attention is like this. Here, foul. Okay, now effect on soft rocks. How the rocks will take shape of the slow movements of velocity? So that explain as follows: the earth crust. Okay, next point. I will drop this one. We need space again. Third point we are going to see now. Okay. So in this effect on soft rocks. What are what is the effect of uh, velocity, slow motion? The effect of slow movement can be seen in the form of formation of mountains and continents on the earth. This can be explained as follows, follows the effect on soft rocks. On soft rocks. Okay. So, folding rocks will create when in the pressure section the air moves towards each other 
so the folding folding crop will be created okay this type of folding crop will be created in the in another section in tension section when the air flows are far away from each other that time it will create a fault like this of the rocks means soft rock okay here we have studied slow movement of the rocks earth movements and their effects okay now one of the activities given for you you can see the activity you will get to know about it now geographical explanation we are going to see now in activity first the strip was moved by the placing hands on both ends strip is moved the work performed the tree strip that time is called compression pressure was given on the center center of the strip for both ends as the result the strip moves and folds are formed uh, moves as the result the strip moves folds are formed similarly due to the pressure on the earth crust movements are generated and folds are formed now we are going to see fold mountain point next one fold mountain energy is transferred from interior of the earth interior of the earth because of this energy waves and pressure working towards each other waves and pressures working towards each other and in horizontal direction the layer of the soft rocks from folds so layer of the soft rocks from folds if the pressure is very high large scale folds are large scale folds are formed and their complexity increases folding if the compression is here each other uh, towards each of which other then the with the energy of interior crust the folds will create on the earth as a result the surface of the earth get uplifted up lifted up lifted here you can see uplifted it is this one okay this is a uh, exact ratio of the fold as a result the surface of the earth gets uplifted and fold mountains are formed the himalayas and the aravis are rockies rockies and andes and alps are andes and alps are the major fold mountains of world see figure number 2.6 and b figure number 2.7 okay okay now next one we are going to see about the house now we should fold mountains not block mountains we are going to see the how block mountains will fit these are the fold mountains now next point block mountains in activity 2 tension is created when you pull both side the ends away from each other pull both the ends away from each other similarly 
when the moments occur in the opposite direction to each other, tension is generated and clouds are formed at Earth's crust. Now, block mountains. Block mountains. Because of internal moments, horizontal waves moving away from each other. Because of internal moments, horizontal waves moving away from each other are formed. This causes tension on the layers of rocks. This leads the formation of fractures in the rocks. These are known as faults. The formation of fractures. The formation of fractures. Fractures in the rocks. in the rocks this leads the formation of fractures in the rocks rocks these are known as faults these are known as faults Next in this one we are going to see. Similarly, waves coming towards each other in the hard rocks also form faults due to the compression when a part of earth's crust is between two parallel faults is lifted, it looks like a block. See figure number 2.9. Such landform is known as a block mountain. The hilltops of block mountain are flat in nearby stages. They such platform is known as a block mountain. The hilltops of block mountain are flat. In the early stages, they do not have any peaks. Their slopes are steep. For example, block forest mountain in Europe, the Meghalaya plateau of India, figure number 2.9b has also been formed in a similar way. Okay, geographical explanation when horizontal movements on the earth surface act in the opposite direction, opposite direction, it causes tension on the rocks in the earth's crust. When the tension increases, fractures develop in the rocks. This leads to formation of faults. Consequently, rocks on the both ends slide and continuously in the layers of rocks is not. Found. Now, next point we are going to see lift rift valleys. Rift valleys. Rift valleys. So, what are the rift valleys? Sometimes two fractures develop side by side in the earth's crust the land in between the two fractures subsides this subsides deep part is called rift valley see figure number 2.10 a b both the slopes of rift valley are steep for example the rift valley the rift valley of river narmada in india the great rift valley of africa the Rhine River Rift Valley of Europe. Okay, continent continent uh, building. If you uh, if you are genetic, if you are genetic movements that also we are going to see now. Slow movements occur towards the center or from the Earth's center towards the Earth's crust. Because of these movements, a vast part of Earth's crust is uplifted or it gets. Subsided 
when the part of earth's crust is uplifted above the mean of sea level continents are formed therefore these movements are called continent building movements extensive plateaus can also be formed because of such movements if the originally continent portion continental portion of the crust subsides below and the sea level it forms a part of sea bed so whatever the content is there regarding continent building and movements and also about the rift valleys these two points we will see uh, one once again into the next session next lecture and uh, we will uh, find uh, we will uh, draw the few uh, we will write the few points which are the necessary uh, which are very important ilp points also we will uh, point out okay so today we will uh, stop here and remaining part we will continue in next lecture thank you